and then uh, it is supposed to be practical, realistic, and time bound. Ada jangka masa yang tertentu within one, within two days, ke, few hours, ke, few weeks, ke. okay. And we should know also these five um, aspects of goal setting can be done for any kind of goal you wish to uh, you aspire to, to do. Uh, it can be short term goal, can also be long term goal. Short term is a very short short period of time, you know, from now until maybe some one month, two months, or even a year or two if you like, a year, a year perhaps. But long term goal is over a longer duration. Maybe from now, the, the day one that you join OUM until you graduate in three or four years' time. That's a longer period of time that, uh, for the goal that you have set. Okay. All right, that is for goal setting. Well, if you want to get some words of wisdom from Dr. Stephen R. Covey regarding seven habits of highly effective people, he says be proactive. Ah, okay, and then do the first things first. Begin with the end in mind. What do you think you already can foresee? Visualize yourself, you know, by the year 20, uh, if now it's 20, nah, 20, 20, uh, 2009 or 2010. In four years' time, inshallah, panyamumuho, you see yourself climbing up the stairs to receive your scroll, you know, uh, from the uh, president, yeah, vice president, yeah, yeah. And then think win win. Right? That don't think of yourself all the time. Don't be too selfish. You must also think of the welfare of the other person. Because inshallah, when you think about another person's welfare, you care and concern for the person, that person will also, you know, give you likewise the same feeling of care and concern for you. And that uh, uh, the prayers that you give for each other's success will then, inshallah, be multiplied to include all the other people. And hopefully, you get what you want, what your heart desire. Okay? Then seek first to understand, then to be understood. Hmm, quite hard to do that. But um, that's what Dr. Stephen Covey said, you know. Before you want people to understand you, you better understand them first. Then uh, that's how the world uh, revolves, I think. Right? Well, sometimes we may not agree, but um, let's see what else he says. Synergize and sharpen the saw. Ah, this is very nice. Sharpen the saw. You motivate yourself further. Keep on pushing yourself, challenging your peaks. Sharpen the saw. It becomes sharper and sharper and sharper, right? Not leave it blunt and then come back to it once in a while or once in a lifetime. Now, the next aspect of managing yourself at OUM Okay, uh, besides you handling your stress and uh, setting your goals smartly, we also help you to understand how to manage your time effectively. All right, so we have read a lot of materials, yeah? a lot of this uh, time gurus everywhere, time management gurus everywhere, a lot of books and people back to written on it by a lot of people. But roughly here, sometimes we know things, but we don't actually really care or take notice of them and apply them in our life you know so let's see what you need to have to know to help you manage your time effectively Tama plan memang tak boleh lari ya kena plan 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 okay no plan semua akan lingkup hancur kata orang jadi haru biru ya so plan ahead okay maybe now in two years time or even uh, you know a longer period of time it's up to you plan ahead Spend more productive with time. Okay, don't waste time. In other words, don't waste time. And then take charge. Don't let time take charge of you. And then prioritize. Kita memberi keutamaan pada mana yang lebih penting. There are many things in life that's more important, more urgent than the other things. Also important, but not as urgent as others. So you have to know which one in your daily routine no? that you have to do on a daily basis yang memerlukan perhatian anda yang terlebih dahulu. Then, elakkan pecanggahan uh, masa, a uh, work time conflict. And then, ini, evaluate. Nah. Because it's only when you evaluate, you know where you went wrong. Did I spend my time? Did I use my time well? Or I wasted my time? Then, inshallah, you will try, you will do all you can to minimize time loss. 
to minimize unproductive time. So with that, you will plan better. Plan better. Okay? I've got a big problem with my time. I like to spend time, about three hours, sitting in front of the TV watching Bollywood movies. So I'm wondering how I can actually overcome that. I'm slowly finding a way to less, have less unproductive time, okay? For myself, as well as for the people around me. That is for time management, very briefly given to you. Next way also to help, next thing you need to know is, of course we are students, learn to deal with time properly, learn also how to deal with concentration. Okay? For what causes poor concentration? You can't put your mind to something. Your mind tends to stray and gets easily digressed from what we should be doing. So these are some of the factors that causes you not to pay attention. Okay? We have got distractions, either physical or if there's a lot of noise, uh, maybe outside a lot of heavy traffic, schools near the uh, main road is causing a lot of uh, heavy traffic and pollution and noise to the students, that will not enable them to think and even pay uh, attention to what the teacher is saying. Physical distraction, uh, daydreaming, yeah, and then the task is too difficult for you to uh, uh, to keep you interested or keen on carrying out the task, if you are lost, if you lose in lost interest, or you become very bored, or you are sort of you know bogged down by personal stress and worries, as well as anxiety, that also will cause you not to concentrate in your work. Okay, now that's the uh, the causes. It's good to know because you are aware. Then what do you do about it? How to improve? Identify the cause. Ha, ini mudahlah, kita tahulah kan Cari, kita kena kenalkan apa dia punca dia ya? uh, Identify the root cause what, ex what really is the problem and Then from there, find ways to control Take steps And once you've got ways to control You carry it out, you implement it, you get it done Then you have to monitor So that you don't have to go come back to the uh, uh, earlier initial problem anymore We want to minimize a possible exterminate all these problems once and for all because it's going to affect our performance it's going to affect how we uh, take charge of our life here on campus as well as wherever you are okay then um, well if you want to talk about people it's more on the philosophical side yeah i say three types of people in life there are three types of people okay those who make things happen we want that, but usually great leaders, they make things happen because they have a plan, they have a goal, they have a vision, and they want to see it taking shape, bear fruit. There are also people who watch things happen. They're happy. They're more like audience or like spectators and watch and clap their hands and maybe, okay, good, well done. That's all they do. And the third group of people, these are very sad, pathetic cases. Those who don't know what is happening, poor souls, they're still daydreaming, they're still fast asleep, okay? So which group do you want to be in here as an OUM, ODL student? You want to make it happen for yourself or just sit there and watch things happening? Or then, or maybe, please don't be in the last group. We don't want to be that in that group, not anymore. We want to go ahead and make things happen for us, yeah? All right, then we have no pain, no gain. Yeah, this we all know about this, yeah? I think. Uh, two, which uh, deals with uh, online learning environment in uh, OUM. Uh, I would like to say that just to recap very quickly what we went through together for the first topic, which was on you understanding the learning environment in OUM, okay? Uh, but before you go into deeper into that, you need to know about yourself first, managing your own learning first, whereby you learn, among other things, how to plan, be a good planner, how to manage your time, remember? How to motivate yourself, how to de-stress yourself and become more in control of your life for now and for 
more years to come, as well as how to become a better person in concentration. Uh, there's one more task, uh, subtopic in this area, which is on the students' uh, personal learning styles.